So there's a rocket getting prepped to land in a place it's never landed before. SpaceX will launch its capsule to the International Space Station, bringing various supplies, and that might be the easy part. Instead of splashing down at sea, the rocket will attempt something entirely new. It will try and land on a floating platform in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Will it work, and why is this so significant? Corey Powell's editor at large with Discover Magazine with me now in studio. Nice to see you, Corey. This is a very, very cool, cool story deal. to be here for. First of all, tell our viewers why it is such a big deal. Well, the, the big goal here is make space flight a lot cheaper. If you make it cheaper, you can do a lot. Th you can do big things for education, for science, for human exploration. Uh, Musk is saying that he thinks he can make space flight a hundred times cheaper than it is now. That's one percent uh, of the cost. One percent of the cost. Wow. Well, th so the, uh, the basic reason is right now you set up a rocket and then you throw it away. Uh, so think of, you know, think of how much uh, an airline flight would cost if they threw away the airplane every time you got to your destination. <laughs> we wouldn't be flying much, would we? Exactly. Now they've done splashdowns before. Right. But this will go to the International Space Station, it will do its duty, it will come back, and they will try and pinpoint a platform in the middle of the ocean and land it upright, Corey. Right. So, th so there's actually two parts of the mission. There's the a capsule that's going up to the space station. That's carrying supplies and experiments. The rocket itself, the first stage of the rocket, has little legs and fins. And it's going to come down. It's like like a balancing a stick on its point. It's going to come back down, re reignite its rockets, do a soft landing, so that you can reuse the biggest part of your rocket. Mm. And again, ultimately, the goal is fly it over and over again the way you'd fly an airplane. The, the guy doing this is Elon Musk, right? Right. He, he owns the company. Why is he is he so advanced? At this point, more so than any other company or anyone else. Well, you know, it's a, I, I think. If you look at you know who's been doing this up till now, um, you know it's been it's been NASA, it's been big NASA contractors, um, and they have a lot of they've got a lot of inertia. They have they have a certain way that they've been doing things for years and years, and they have a, like a lot of parts on the shelf. And when you already have those things, it's easy to keep doing it the same way. Uh, even the you know the new the new rocket that NASA is building uses a lot of old parts. Musk was starting basically from the ground it's up. A, it's unbelievable. So he gets but, to but even he said this has had this has a 50-50 chance. Right, he's working. He's being very smart about this. He's doing he's doing it step by step, and each step he's trying to do something you've never done before, and and saying up front it might not work, but if it doesn't, we'll learn a lot, and the next time we'll do no, better. This is true, and it will be cheaper, which will open the doors to so many many things. Thank you, Corey. We'll see okay. when it goes. Right, five days away. About uh, that, it's, it's, uh, it's slated to launch on the 16th. Uh, so, like I said, you know, one capsule will go up, and that uh, we'll know almost right away if that rocket came down. You'll hear about it. Put a camera on it. We'll exactly. bring you back. Thank you. Okay. Corey.